the first thing that I would do is I would build a company where we were great at e-sourcing. That's the term I use, electronic sourcing. Most of us are terrible at that. In fact, we are phobic about it. In, in, in fact, we think somehow it's a bit dirty to go into the internet and look for candidates. Proactive sourcing is part of the future. Okay, I'll say it to you right here and now. There's two things you've got to do. You've got to be brilliant at proactively finding people. That's the talent identification part. And you've got to be brilliant at bringing a building a community so that people come to you through social. And then on top of that, you'll have your job boards and your LinkedIn and your other things. Most of you have got your job boards and your LinkedIn and a few referrals. It's not enough. What I'm saying to you is it's not enough. So you've got to be great at e-sourcing. You've got to understand how to identify talent. Yeah, there are more and more candidates online every day. Now, that is a wave that is not going to reverse. LinkedIn's getting two new people a second. And it's not just LinkedIn. You can find people via other sorts of searches, Boolean searches, deep internet searches. We've got these companies that are set up just to do that. We've got to have a mindset that says we've got to engage with people we've never had a relationship with before. Not continually go back to our database, as important as that is. I'll come back to that in a minute. And go to Seek, which only fishes in a very shallow pool. We've got to identify other people. It's all about accessing unique talent. And that means actually doing something, getting in LinkedIn experts to train you on how to find people, hiring people who, have got the, who are digital natives. That's the sort of people we need to, need to hire. I'm going to talk about that later. Digital natives, people who understand the technology and are willing to learn. And it's not about age. It's about attitude. Hire people with the right attitude and understand they have to be proactive. And by the way, <clears throat> having said that, I've thought a lot about this. I actually would expect my recruiters to be digital natives. I'd expect them to know how to search LinkedIn. But I would actually set up a team of people, an e-sourcing function, because it's data. It's not recruiting. You've got to separate this business out. It's not all one thing. Finding a candidate on the internet is a technology skill, not a recruiting skill. So hire some 23-year-old who's brighter than all of us. And we used to do this, actually, in Singapore and Hong Kong because you can get very bright graduates with two years' experience for $1,000 Aussie dollars a month. And we'd get them there, and they would be the talent sources. And that was an idea I was developing, and I sort of stumbled on it, and I wasn't being that... But then I realized that's what they should do. Then get the recruiter to do the recruiting part because that's the art and the craft. That's a different skill. And so I'd actually built an e-sourcing function in my, from day one. My recruiters would still be digital. They still understand how to do it, but they wouldn't have to be as skilled as these people because I don't want my 100 grand a year recruiters doing data searching. I want my 30 grand a year people doing data searching. I want my 100 grand a year people influencing someone to take a job or influencing someone to go for an interview or man handling a subtle negotiation or, 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 or getting a, qualifying a job order. These are real skills that recruiters need in the craft. 